Okay, hello everyone. We are today here at my, I say studio, it's just a spare room, but um, here we are. So this is where I make videos, play games, uh, chill out. We are joined today by Leo. Hello, fat boy. He's a bit of a chunk. He's on a diet at the moment, but he's uh, he chills out here sometimes and gets fur all over the little sofa. Good boy. So the rest of the room is basically one half is my other half's um, sort of desk area. She's got my laptop sometimes and plays games. And then the corner here is just um, a little speaker. That's um, my birthday. It's got my birthday on there, uh, 4th of Jan 92. Can't quite see it. And then uh, just a couple of medals and decoration things. But here is the uh, the main area. So the chair I've got is my new one. I got it from the other half for Christmas. So it's very comfortable. The problem is at the moment, is um, it rolls because the floor isn't quite even just due to it being a cottage. Um, it does roll, so I've got a bit of mat down on the floor and the, the desk was against this wall here initially, but it sort of took up quite a lot of the room. So you can still see some sticky bits on the wall where the cable managed. But the chair itself is a, and a seat. I'm not sure what brand it is. Apparently it's a pretty good one from what she tells me. Um, nice little back support and a little neck support headrest as well. So really comfortable. Before I was on my dining room chair, so it was really a game changer. A lot more comfortable for gaming. So I'll just fold this out of the way so I can get into the desk area. And then the desk itself. So we'll start with the, um, with the computer first, shall we? So under the desk is the main build. So if you've seen my YouTube shorts, you would have seen uh, a couple of upgrades are done. So it's a Corsair 280X case, and I will put this in the description. Um, I've got a RTX 2070, and I've got uh, two intake fans which I've added to the case, and then I've got two on the front for the intake, and then I've got the uh, radiator up there for the outtake. In the back of the case, there is a uh, four terabytes of storage, so Barracuda Seagates, just HDDs, um, ones for game storage, like bolt games that I just play every now and then, and ones for my videos. So that is the um, case itself. It's RGB, but I'm not overly fussed about the um, flashy lights. I just stick to one solid colour, really. Matches the room. Fortunately, I've got a bit of a window ledge there, so cable management isn't too bad. Um, I made a bit of a mess on the wall there, cutting some... Uh, a bit of a rug there to go on the thingy, on the windowsill. But, I mean, that generally is out of the way. I need to do a little bit more. These here just sort of hook into the little hooks up there. But they come loose every now and then when I um, move the steering wheel across. But, it's, you know, it could be better, but it could be a lot worse. But fortunately, the, sh the shelf does help it support it and keep it upright. So then the steering wheel itself is the uh, Logitech G29. It's the PS5 edition, because I've got a PS5 or PS edition. Really useful. I um, use it for a couple of games, like racing games, Formula 1. And uh, now I've used it on Farm Sim. Didn't think I'd use it for Farm Sim, but it does really just help um, with the steering on the game. And again, the pedals are down there underneath. So we'll go from uh, left to right. So I've got my Stream Deck here. Got this last Christmas, not just one the year before. So it's not ideal, the light and the lens won't focus very well. I'll do the best I can. I've got my Farming Simulator 22, so hit that one there. And I've basically got my um, GPS button set up. So it's nice and easy. I can just hit the menu, I can turn it on, set my guide point, activate the steering, adjust the lines, show lines, Proceed. I got these from Icon City, and um, there's a few extra ones from Farm Sim that you turn your hazards on, your beacons on, and so on. But I lost the, the save file when I downloaded it when I transitioned from laptop to computer, so I would have to buy them again. Um, next one down, I've got OBS, just literally hit record and pause. I've got, um, I forget the other name, it's a similar, this is the persister to, it's a Streamlabs, I think. And then I've got uh, NVIDIA, if I'm doing time lapses, just a lot easier to hit record, mic, and the menu on there. So really easy to use, um, saves a lot of time, especially when I've got my steering wheel here. I haven't got to reach across over to the keyboard as much, like Control Z and Control C. I can just literally touch the button, nice and easy there. Uh, the keyboard itself is a Logitech. I couldn't tell you the exact brand name. Again, I'll put this in the description. Uh, it's the first one I bought from Amazon. It was does a job. Nothing fancy, but it's good enough for what I need. Um, mechanical, I believe. 
but again to me it's just keys i don't really get fussed over keyboards as much same as a mouse it's a very basic mouse i don't really get overly into the best mouse it's wired they're both wired um, i would like to go wireless just for a bit of a cleaner setup but for now they are they get the job done on the left is my second monitor so i've got two dell monitors I've got uh, the both 27 inches, one's a 1440p, which is my main gaming one. And then I've got my um, exact same brand, exact same sort of um, layout, S27s I think they are, but one's a 1080p. Um, I've got a landscape mode at the moment. So if I want to, um, I suppose if I can have, I'll just open up OBS quickly. I can have an uh, OBS basically on the menu there. If it loads up, update, not do that right now. And I can drop it in. If I want Discord, I can have Discord up here as well, or I can have the internet or YouTube, so I can view my own stream, view my comments and so on. So it does help having it that mode. You can make them smaller if you want to, but I generally have like a 50-50 split on the um, second monitor. I am considering going uh, landscape again, because obviously when I got my laptop plugged in, if I want to use it as a second recording monitor for some time lapses, I'm gonna have to readjust. Um, what's on the desk here? A couple of little tractors. I picked this one up in some vintage recycling shop. Nice little tractor there. Um, there was, it's like two pounds, I think, just a little decoration. This one here, I built myself. It was a present a couple of years ago. A little Connect 4 style thing. So that's my little tractor over there. And then behind there, I've just basically got some uh, Philips screen cleaner on a cloth just behind the monitor. I have just changed to the um, monitor arms, so to try and get off the screen a bit, because obviously the stands they came with were quite low, and one's adjustable with the height, and I can rotate the angle. But I wanted the um, this one, it wouldn't go high enough for the steering wheel. So I got some monitor arms, and they're a bit higher now. So when I'm sat, obviously, in my chair, the screens above the steering wheel was before it was sitting sort of halfway between the steering wheel and the screen. So. I could probably get something here just to hide the gap and hide a bit of the cables, but the tractor does a, an okay job of hiding some of the cable mess there. But again, a lot of it does go straight from there and goes under the desk, as I showed earlier. So that is the uh, monitors. Again, I'll put these in the description. My mouse mat um, is very basic. I do want to get a decent mouse mat for the desk, but um, for now, I just um, borrowed this from work. It does the job, nice little wrist rest. And um, I'm not sure what mouse this is again, but it, it, a couple of buttons I can program. But for me, I use the steering wheel more now, so I'm not overly fussed about the mouse itself. This little uh, light here, I got it from the range, if you live in the UK. It's ideal, it can change um, the dimness, a bit of a mood, warmer lighting. You can also have it a bit brighter as well. You can adjust it with your finger, and you can have it um, pretty decently there. Timer there for timeout, and then good thing about this little one here, it's got wireless charging built in, so I can literally um, put my phone there and it can charge away. And then behind there you can see the ledge helps out with the cable management quite nicely. So that is the uh, one side. Next up we have the Logitech, not Logitech, uh, Fussmaster T6-1000. Um, again, there's plenty of videos on these. Um, I've just got the one but it does a job for me. I managed to get my keybind set up. Um, I've been using it on, obviously, farm sim for logging, and I've also been doing it on, uh... oh, the layer's off. Hello. <laughs> and uh, Armour 3 as well. I'm doing some helicopter flying on Armour 3, and I might use it on another game as well. I can't remember what another game I was gonna use it on. Um, Snowrunner maybe, if it's accessible. But yeah, it's really good. Um, the second one will be useful, because what I'd like to have is that little dial there to control the camera angle. So I haven't got to go between the mouse and the joystick to change the camera angle, but um, maybe in the future I'll get a second one. So it's my birthday, start of January, so I did get this new uh, boom arm, because the one I had was a very basic, cheap sort of set. It was like 50 quid, and it is really nice. Let's take my headphones off quickly. Really nice, obviously the mount on it is really good solid mount on the bottom there. And then you can adjust it as and when, you know, right in your face and there's a pretty good reach in it. I mean, it'll probably go across almost half the desk. So 
you can adjust it nice and easy. And when you don't want to use it, just fold it in and uh, I'll just mind the wall, tuck it away. And it's out of the way nice and easy. So if I'm gaming just normally, it's not in my face. The problem I had was the desk kept wobbling quite a bit. Um, it's a pretty steady desk. I'll go for that in just a sec where I got the desk from. What's up, boy? So this door is a rescue, so he's a bit nervous about going through doorways. Come on then. There you go. I think Arthur's around somewhere as well. He's next door, I think. The uh, collie. But yeah, the desk was wobbling like so much. And I think it was, I just, when I put it together, it was a brand new desk and I was a bit anxious about drilling holes in it. I didn't quite sit the uh, plates flushed properly. So I got it out the other day when I was fitting my um, monitor. I've got them a lot more flat and that seems to have fixed the problem. There's still obviously a little bit of wobble. Um, I mean, you can hear uh, the screens would wobble so much and the desk was obviously, because there's on the flat mounts as well, it's not completely flat. It's quite a, like a rustic effect, it was quite bumpy. So they, they did wobble just slightly as well. Um, it's fixed the problem mostly, but again, you can hear that in my last videos. It just wasn't, you know, my voice cutting in and out. So one solution I came up with is I've got uh, a few holes in the wall there and I've got this plank of wood just over here from a family friend. And the plan is to obviously paint it blue and then fit that essentially just there and then just paint it, either varnish it the same as that and it will just sit on the wall there and I can mount the uh, boom arm then onto that block of wood. But the problem is, is that the um, wall plugs I used weren't quite strong enough to hold it once the, because it's quite a chunky bit of wood and the uh, mounts weren't the best either. So I need to re think about that and get it done properly. Um, at least then it's fixed onto the wall. There's no wobble from the desk at all. And we know it's a solid fix then, so I should hopefully not avoid that mic sort of cutting it out. So that is one solution. But I'm not sure if it's going to work because the boom arm might hit the wall. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, he's done a really good, nice job on that, getting that done for me. Um, might get some more for some shells, maybe. Hopefully it doesn't watch this video. Uh, down there, I've just got a little extra light. Um, just because it does get quite dark from doing cable management. The headphones themselves, again, I think there's a Razer Kraken 2. On the top of my head but I couldn't tell you um, without looking at the box but yeah they, they're pretty decent um, nice and comfortable on my head um, so I wear glasses sometimes not with my contacts so they do the job so to fit in with the desks and the, the black keyboard and whatnot and before I had a razor laptop so they matched that as well but yeah they um, for gaming for me they're fine and the benefit is they've got an aux cable plug-in somewhere so I can plug them straight into the back of the mic and I can basically listen to my um, voice directly through the microphone itself without having to worry about the um, settings and OBS and stuff there's a lot easier to manage yeah and the mic itself I've got a blue Yeti um, pros and cons I found with this is a it is quite large the blue obviously goes with the walls and whatnot um, what I've had a problem is recently is hey, I dropped it on the floor because the dog got in my way. You probably can't see it very well there because of the light. There's a bit of a dent in the, uh, that's probably a bit better there. A bit of a dent in it. I'm not sure if it's affected it too much, but um, the problem I found with the connection on this, this mic is, um, probably can't see it in this light. Let me just adjust this light for you. is it's right there. And with this mount here and other mounts I've used, it can be an absolute nightmare. So I'm not sure the cable's currently gone, but the cable slips out quite easy. Um, so it's just not the best placement, I don't think, for the virtual mic itself. It would have been better, I think, having it probably here somewhere, or at least an option on the back or the side so you can plug it in. But it's okay for what it is. Um, it was recommended on obviously Amazon, good reviews. On the back, it's cardioid and other multi-directional settings. I just used the cardioid. And then you've got the um, gain. But again, the problem with that is that the background noise picks up quite a lot. So I keep it all the way down and I just adjust it on the um, editing software. You can change the volume on the front and you can mute it. So if you hear a bit of a pop on my recordings, because I'm tapping that button there. It's not plugged in currently because I was about 
to go away somewhere um, today, but I've come back early. And then obviously screensavers, uh, Mass Effect, Commander Shepard there, probably one of my favourite series of games, um, next to The Last of Us, which I intend to watch the new episode tonight. And then just a little nice rustic woodland there. So that is British, the main area already. I've not got anything too extreme, too crazy. Um, it's a very basic setup. Well, I say basic, it's obviously it's taken me a few years to get to this stage from a laptop up to the to fill on the desk setup. But, you know, for now it is it's what it is. Um, I'm quite enjoying it. The desk itself, it was a bit of a custom job. Uh, it's from a company called Acumen Collection in the UK. Um, it's 150 centimetres long and 50 mil thick. And I bought the legs um, from a third party. I can't remember the name. They're pretty sturdy legs. Uh, the flooring we got from this is just home base, like a walnut effect. I've got a message. But yeah, the desk is really nice. It was varnished. I think it was a bit darker than what was advertised. I guess not entirely flat, but it does match him in the room quite nicely. But yeah, that is my setup essentially. Um, I'll put a look, together a little bit of a montage you before or after this video, um, of just sort of me playing the games and how it all works and it's all set up. But for me, um, that is it now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about any of the kit, you want a demonstration or anything, I'll put together one. I do intend to do one on the stream deck um, with the arm, the icons. Unfortunately, I can't get it set up just focus very well at the moment, but I'll try and get a mount my tripod set up and my camera and I'll try and do a tutorial on this because it is again really useful just touch the button lock on lock off and so on so it is really good but yeah for now that is um that's my setup thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to showing you some more content in the future take care see you next time